All right, recording. Six brave singles who tried everything to find love put their fate in the hands of three experts to get legally married to a complete stranger. Every week, they share their most intimate thoughts. This is Married at First Sight Confessions. We are headed to the airport. We are done. We are heading back to our, our lives before all this craziness happened. We've gotten to know more about each other in one week than a lot of couples ever get to know about each other. And I think that's something amazing because it's just building our bond together. We just had um, amazing experiences and lots of firsts, and we're gonna have a lot more first experiences um, as, as the months and years go by. This is a very sad, sad day because we're leaving. It's been pretty awesome and amazing, and Dominican Republic is great. I want to go. Pretty much lost all respect for Heather at this point. I got matched with someone who gave up, and someone who I think is extremely dishonest, someone who I don't think was honest with the experts, someone who's extremely judgmental. She's cold, she's rude. So we're leaving Puerto Rico here shortly, having some breakfast, and uh, can't wait to go home. I believe that in life we have the choice to be positive or negative, and um, for the most part of this experience, Heather's chosen the negative path. You know, there was a period of time where I was a little bit disappointed and hurt by, by the whole thing, but um, at this point, I don't care. Diary Cam City, where are the mayors? My first night was fine. I slept not so well. Why not? Because. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> you want to talk about something? Because we know how much I hate talking about life. He does. Not true. He does. Not true. He does. We're gonna, we're gonna get good at, at telling him how we feel. I think. I'm already good at it too. It's mm. <laughs> getting good. This morning is the first morning after the honeymoon we got in late last night, and uh, we said good night and goodbye um, until we move in with each other. Hmm. I had so much fun on our honeymoon, but it's good to be back. I had a lot of work to do and a lot of things I needed to get done, so it's good to be back. But I'm bummed because I don't get to spend the night with him. I am in my place. It was uh, kind of weird sleeping alone. Um, I think the biggest thing was just kind of having space, too. It was nice. Uh, just because we were around each other for a whole solid week, and it was just, um, it was much needed. Uh, just to have a little bit of space, just time to think, um, alone. <laughs> no one else is there, you know, it's just you're by yourself, you're back in your, in your home, in your realm. I missed him. We did FaceTime earlier and spoke on the phone, but it's not the same. Can't pull them. <laughs> Can't pull his hair. And she's going to come by and check out the bus, which I'm kind of stressed out about. I'm not sure if she's going to like it or not. I'm excited because I finally get to see Tom's place tomorrow. Now it's like, like, got real. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, today is uh, the first full day back from the honeymoon. Uh, my first day apart in, in full from Heather since uh, since we were married. Uh, right now, I know, uh, we know we're going through a tough time. You know, I didn't start off in a super romantic place with Derek, which I think is realistic considering, I mean, I started slower and I wanted to make sure that I was getting to see who he really was. And the picture that he painted of himself 
was not a good picture. You're sacrificing your full independence. It's time to make some decisions. I don't want to walk away from this marriage just yet. So, married life, it's going. Um, it's going good. Trying to not upset the wife too much with my dirty feet and little shenanigans. <clears throat> From the very beginning, you're marrying someone and you're sacrificing your full independence that you're used to. I was used to being just myself. And I'm sacrificing that to start a life with someone. We have little differences here and there and learning a lot more about Lily as time goes on and to decide whether or not, you know, Lily is right for me or, <clears throat> you know, I'm right for Lily. Marriage is, um, of course, forever. It's the idea. And we have to go and <laughs> put the time in to figure this out, just like any relationship. It's hard to sacrifice who you're used to being or a lifestyle you're used to to accommodate a new person in your life and just to learn how to be equal and make that person comfortable as well. Just made a copy of the keys. For Sonia, for our home. And I put them in the exact order on each one. It took forever, it took literally 45 minutes in the parking lot of the hardware store, but they're all color-coded. We just moved in. Uh, I know what it's like to be with him on vacation and at a hotel. Um, but I don't quite know what it's like to be like living with him. We've had a little bit more time to spend together off camera. And it's been super beneficial just spending time together you know, doing our own thing and talking. And today we cleaned the house, listening to Latin music very loud. Um, just little things like that, I think, are just helpful. So I really just want to resolve this like whole dog issue, or if he even wants to resolve it. I sometimes feel like he doesn't want to resolve it. I told him that I didn't want to um, sleep in that bed room because it smelled like dog because there's things he can do like he can take the sheets to the laundromat but he's not doing that he's leaving the dirty sheets and that's why I have to sleep in another room I'm kind of tired of putting in so much effort and him not putting in much at all uh, last we left off we were with Pastor Calvin and he basically gave Heather and I the opportunity to, to walk away from the marriage. Um, and I've been thinking about that a lot. It's not something that I want to do at this point. Um, but I, I'm not sure exactly where Heather stands. It was obviously a really horrible week. And considering that the wedding went so smoothly, I would have never ever thought that this first week together was going to be so unbearable. Um, I did text her today. Um, she texted me back and she just kind of let me know that she's got, she wants to think about things. I'm not sure if she's just taking some time to herself or if she's given up on this or what, um, but I'm hoping that we can still figure something out and I don't want to walk away from this marriage just yet. You know, I, I just want to be happy. And I, I was happy. I, I really do love my life. And I want to wake up every day still feeling like that. So it's time to make some decisions and I don't give it some good thought. These couples put everything on the line for love. At the end of the six weeks, they'll have to make a decision. Will they stay married or get a divorce? It's all coming up this season on Married at First Sight. 
feel like you're a stranger. I know, right? I never pictured getting married to a stranger. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>